All right, so Winnie, you were you were asking me about something. What what was it? Can you tell me again? Yeah, what what was it? Oh yeah, like yeah, you want to know about how in the world I could rescue abandoned babies in China? The Communist Party, they don't want they don't want me doing that. Yeah, they they don't want me rescuing babies. You know, unfortunately, the culture, you know. That because they're one child family and a lot of people want just the boys, they don't want, yeah, they only want boys. Like, can you imagine that, Winnie? I mean, you're a boy, but it's like, you know, they, they don't want the girls. Yeah, and then they don't want handicapped. Yeah, and they don't want something like facially wrong with them. Yeah, all of that is like shocking culturally that they would do that. But you know, the thing is, is that by the grace of God, with, my, with the wisdom that God gave me and then the love I have for the Chinese people is he helped me put together a plan where I could save abandoned babies. Yeah, rescue them. And, and how do you find out about them, right? How do you, yeah, I mean, that would be confusing. But you know, God gave me the wisdom and the plan and I was able to rescue 16 babies. Yeah, five of them died from terminal illness and I couldn't save them even with the best of hospitals. And the Communist Party killed my Phoebe girl back, yeah, I know, my Phoebe girl, yeah. Oh, thank you for the kiss, Phoebe. Yeah, you know, Phoebe was somebody I loved very much, right? Yeah, you can imagine that. But the Communist Party systematically starved her to death in intensive care because they wanted to make it look like I somehow was responsible for her death, yeah. But by the grace of God, Winnie, is that I fought in 2014 from November 20th when the first newspaper article was published about me with the 10 kids and Phoebe in the hospital. They tried to destroy me with the newspapers, the press, television, and I spent months and months in interviews. Yeah, can you imagine that? Months and months in interviews with newspapers and media people and police and customs people, and they tried to destroy my name, who I was, I didn't seek the embassy for help. I didn't look to lawyers because there was no way a lawyer was going to help out. Yeah, can you imagine how difficult that? Can you, no, you can't imagine how difficult that. But you know, God was gracious in answering prayer, but the children were taken. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the, the ten children. That would be Plaza, David, James, Hannah, Rebecca, John, John, Joanna, Sarah, Joseph, and Deborah. Those ten children were taken. And I'm still fighting. And did you know after Phoebe died, yeah, unfortunately, I know, it's shocking, is they, they have been holding the body. Yeah, they've been holding the body of Phoebe, but I've been fighting with the Chinese hospital to give me that body. And people say, why don't they kick you out of China? Well, in October of last year, I think they finally did. They didn't give me a visa to go back. Yeah. But, you know, God is working, like I told you earlier, is that Grandma was able to go this last Saturday and see David, my 16 and a half year old, and tell him to tell everybody that Uncle Ray's still praying and loving and love you, and I will work. And God's going to rescue them, right? Yeah. Who do we trust in for that? Right, Jesus, Jesus, yeah, Jesus. Okay, Winnie, but you know we're going to keep praying, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to keep praying. And then we're also going to just keep praying for a big change in China. So with that, Winnie and I will sign off here from Granddad's Bluff, Granddad Park. This is La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's uh, April 9, 2020. All right. See you later. Thank you. See you.